did. Everything I did was too girly. And uh, they felt like I I wasn't I wasn't gonna fit in. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna acquiesce. I guess. Um, but when I I called Cadence one time, the guys <laughs> decided that that was that was masculine. That the way because I I was modeling my drill sergeants who were men. So yeah. I called Cadence one time and they're like, oh shoot, she got she got it in her. And I was like, oh okay, I guess. But let me ask a question to the ladies, and I'm gonna start with uh, Lucky. Can you describe to us, just to put this in better context, can you describe to us what it looks like when a woman is exhibiting masculine energy? What does it look like to you? What does that mean? No, but I better not interrupt her. Um, to simplify, aggression. Misplaced aggression. Um, I would say if she is a person that has a problem with order, direction, um, she has to always be in control and of every single thing. She is definitely taking the role of what a man is supposed to do. I would say that's her being masculine. So aggression isn't always necessarily you, your voice. It could be your demeanor. It could be your body language. It could be a facial expression. Just like feminine does not necessarily mean how you're talking. It could be his demeanor. It could be his 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 mannerisms. The way he says certain words, he might put an S too long on some words. I mean, it's a lot of things that could be very feminine for men. Men arguing with women constantly can be very feminine because men don't argue with other men or it's a fight, right? Hmm. So if they are catty and men gossip, they do things, they very feminine. So, I mean, if a woman is being masculine, it's going to be whatever the opposite of that is going to be. I, I, they would say a woman driving trucks is masculine. You know what I'm saying? Certain positions is considered masculine because it carries a demeanor. So, I mean, just to simplify it, that's what it is to me. All right, Precious, what you got? I mean, she she kind of lucky done said everything, really. Um, it's, it's just when you are trying to be in control, when you are more so of a doer um, rather than just being you know, um, Lucky said pretty much, you know, is, is out of order. That's what it is when she's masculine. She's out of order. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Fantasy, you there? Or she took a break? We'll come back to you, Fantasy. Don't, are you there? All That's right. Funny. You can either, because, uh, yeah, Lucky did kind of give an all-encompassing answer. If you would like to, can you give us a, in fact, you might be a good person for this. Can you give us an example when you stepped out of your feminine frame, kind of by accident, you might have seen you was outside of yourself, right? But what did that look like, masculinity on a female? Tell us about it. Um, so basic training. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's why I said everything you might be a good I did, person. everything I did was too girly, and uh, they felt like I I wasn't I wasn't gonna fit in. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna acquiesce. I guess. Um, but when I I called Cadence one time. The guys <laughs> decided that that was that was masculine. That the way because I I was modeling my drill sergeants who were men. So yeah, I called Cadence one time and they're like, "Oh shoot, she got she got it in her." And I was like, "Oh okay, I guess." But I don't know. That's what's up. That was the big moment that I saw that a bunch of men actually told me, "Oh, that was masculine." Oh, that's well, yeah. You kind of uh, the it's, I was the Cadence caller, boot camp, A school, C school. And that's real weird. So they let, uh, have you noticed they always want the black people to be cadence callers? Yes, because we own, they don't have no damn rhythm. They think we can and all it's sad. I don't want to run to your to your lack of rhythm. It doesn't no, work for me. Like, I already don't want to run. We should let Mike call the cadence. <laughs> because I, I think it's because of our voice. We just kind of. Yeah, it sounds better. Deeper voice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. All right, Chanel. It sounds prettier. What does masculinity, um, masculinity look like on a female? I don't think women do it that well. I think it can turn into like a perverse version of masculinity, but I do think it is control in a very aggressive way. Um, it can be showing leadership, but women who are being overly masculine tend to show leadership sometimes, not all the time, in a very overbearing kind of way. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't think women are good at being masculine in the true sense of the word, but I do believe that it's 
it's uh, more of a, like a control and just trying to overcome someone or something in that type of manner. All right, Sugar Curls, you got anything to add? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, initially, I thought that a woman could show more masculinity, um, not just to a man, but to other women as well. We have to look at that point because in this case, she may be rude. She may be disrespectful. Her tone, she doesn't have manners. Constantly interrupting, constantly raising her voice, arguing. Um, I was always told that a feminine woman is a discreet woman as well. Mm. She knows how to use wisdom, which is using your knowledge to make proper decisions in the mm. appropriate circumstances. So a lot of times women who are more masculine, they're all over the place. They're not using their knowledge in a wise way. And then also one of my biggest things, and this is what I tell my girls, is questioning authority. Like there's a way to communicate without being insubordinate. And I see way too much of that. Employees, women I've hired, um, just in female relationships, not even have the, the quality of respect for the next woman who either may be your peer, or older, even younger. We have to be an example to the younger women for them to know how to be a discreet woman. So that's what I think about. Mm, I'm glad I asked that question. Those are excellent answers. You want to know what? Can I the, ask her a question? A, Sorry, go ahead, Sweeney. You want to know what a perfect example of toxic masculinity is? Masculinity on a woman. Masculinity on a woman. I swear oh, to God, God, if you want to don't ball your face up, Lucky. If it's you want to see what toxic masculinity looks like, watch a woman be masculine. She exudes. Every bit of so, so just... no, this is a hold on. This is a teachable moment because Lucky screwed her face up. Listen, listen. Um, one of the reasons women have such a problem in leadership positions at work is because they try to lead with masculine energy, they try to lead with too much authority. When women are in high level productivity positions, they need to lead with grace. Everybody loves the woman that leads gracefully, nobody wants. To be married to that authoritarian lady who we know as the neighborhood bitch. We should know that, right? We always love the lady who was hospitable, who was courteous, who was kind, who was gentle. All the boys want to move furniture when she's moving. Yes, ma'am, I'll do that for you. That is how women should lead. So whenever women take on that masculine nature, they always go too far because it's not a sword you were ever meant to yield. If you're going to punish, you're going to over punish. If you're going to yell, you're going to over yell because. It's not a tone that women typically are supposed to take. So I think Mike, that's what he means by tax topic. Let me add. Let, let me add something real. Quick. Hold on. Let me add something real quick. This is a perfect example of a feminine woman getting the attention of of people around her. Right? Lucky just had a look on her face. Lucky got them big old eyes, and she just had a look on her face. Right? And it got everybody's attention. Like, uh oh, why is Lucky looking like that? That is really all a woman has to do. She ain't got to raise her voice. She oh, ain't got to get into her masculine. The, the, your favorite teacher, most likely for all of you, was feminine as hell. And she can walk down oh, the yeah. hall and be like, okay, guys, what are y'all doing? And you know why we all listen to that favorite teacher? Because we did not want to, what is the word, disappoint her. Yep. It's not about a loud, overbearing teacher or a loud, overbearing bearing woman. A woman can just sit back and just look at you like this and be like, next thing you know, you're like, damn, what'd I do to her? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and then boom. That's what a feminine woman is supposed to do. A look on her face and a gesture. That's it. I like that one, Lucky.